snake bite fella? Again? You won't believe it. I got bitten again. It's real deep. So get out of me, please. Can't believe I'm doing this. Hold still. Never again. Oh, oh, you so much, mister. I can't believe he saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. On a stiff one tonight. That's it. You ain't getting another out. Easy, girl. Yeah. Easy there.
It's okay, girl. That's it, girl. Okay. Look at you. Here we go. That's it, I think, yes. You, sir, are a fish. Anything biting, I wonder.
bad at all. You're coming with me. Okay. What are you? You're a small mouth.
for Gavin. He's my best friend. He left me. I lost him. Hey, welcome back. Sift through, see what you like. All right, what do you have for me? It's making my head pound. You got a decent eye for these things, by the looks of it. that. That'll do a lot of damage. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. Oh, you need something exclusive, huh? Beautiful. Just a second. I trust nobody's missing this. Thanks, partner. Let's go, girl. Hey there, partner. How do you do, sir? Raiders fought tooth and nail. Stay for this cold. Past Kent County. Just strolling through. Hello, gentlemen. Well, howdy now. Partner. Too sober partner. to smile. How do you do? You looking at that poster? They're an ugly old thing, aren't they? I heard that late law's being put up near Catfish Jackson's. Hello. He's a piece of work, but he's still got friends. How do you do? Okay, girl. Debbie Dye is still falling in love with soil bugs.
our channel. Hey, mister. They come out of nowhere, okay? Next thing I was regaining my facilities, tied up here. Please, cut me free. I'm a prisoner of these men. You're free, my friend. You have no idea how thankful I am. You ain't home and dry yet. Run along. I know. I think they hid my things in one of those boxes. Sir, they're yours. Well, guess I'm one of the good guys. Good luck to you.
taking you in for sure. They can add arson to those charges. Come on. Just isn't your day, is it? You're coming with me. The blooming cheek. Okay. The sheriff of Rhodes is waiting. You call this a hog tie, you miserable bastard? Untied laundry tater. I didn't ask for your opinion. Bloody worst. Absolutely terrible, mind. It's embarrassing getting caught by you, you wee little bobat. You ain't making me like you. So tell me, you like pornography, lad? You know, exotic stuff? <laughs> Laddie, I said. Said, do you like lewd images? Breasts and arse and all the business, only arty like. I can get you some photographs of wee tiny. Okay, almost there. I can deal with you. Oh, about time, you dozy bastard. Are we there yet? How long's this blooming taking you? You impatient? Have a sleep. Well done, you caught the son of a gun. Come on. You're just the worst. Yep, that's the word in town. Here's your Scotsman. Nearly torched me, but I got him. Oh, dear Mr. Laidlaw. That is going to count against you. Cell's there for him. I'll have none of it. I came peacefully. Well, like hell you did. Ah, damn you! I'll get ye! <laughs> Bounty's the same whether you was nearly inflamed or not, I'm afraid. I'll take it, if you'll... I didn't need to do nothing to that man. I doubt you'll find too many more posters going up in the station house, sir. Reckon Rhodes has reached the end of that long road to respectability. Finally. This is all a grave error, Sheriff Thomas. It's folks like you that brought this town to its knees. Bad breeding. Oh, 
Come on, girl. Sorry, girl. Hey, fellas. Hey, Evening. First time. Hello there. I'm running out, Rhodes. Get him right here. Evening, partner. Hi, uh, folks. Oh, you came back. How you doing? Have a look. All for sale, except the floorboards. Some of the ladies up at the parlor house, I've been told they're... Uh, had enough darn right, livestock shitting up the place, too. Let's go, cool, girl. That's how life is.
Okay, should be all set. Whoa! Hey, why don't you walk along and forget what you saw, okay? Good move. Whoa, he... Be famous for this one. Well, it's a long damn time. We've been planning this too long. Guess there's nothing left to do but the lot of. Oh, you never say so. So, care to set off? You kidding me? You're the expert here. Hmm? Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Easy, girl. Shh. Yep. Spend it in your honor, boys. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess.
Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> That's the best woman here. Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Well, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. 
We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Wait, what was that? Hold on. Hey there, boy. Gotta keep looking. <laughs> you hear? Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I had a bit to drink. A friend. Died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. I'll try this way. Bastards are trying to draw us out. You should have paid Mr. Bronte. Can't see worth a damn. We should have the right night for it. God damn it. At least hit me properly.
up, no doubt. Let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. I think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go, maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. Get down! I found a body! Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here! Stick with me. Get back to Dutch. I think we lost. Move! Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even going to know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Where you going? Take that way. Like I said, did you see where we're at once we got Jack? All right, let's get this done. Hold on now. Good Come on, shot, Arthur. Girl. Come on, let's get this over with. Well. You took your time. Jack! Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took <laughs> your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Bronte. 
You all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Maybe thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. That's him! Come on! Come on in here! <laughs> He's back, all right! <laughs> hey, make some room for John there. Come on! Are we celebrating? Hey, yeah! Oh, 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 good to have you back, kid. We missed you. Hey, hey, how about a song? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Play us away! Woo! <laughs> 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 
y el ramo de una cielito lindo vienen bajando un par de ojitos negros y el cielito lindo de contrabando de la sierra morena cielito lindo vienen bajando un par de ojitos negros cielito lindo de contrabando Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca Cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores porque cantando se alegran. Cielito lindo los corazones. <risa> All right, let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Cuando Welcome salí back, Jack. de Hermosillo, hey. lágrimas vine llorando. Y con la flor del trompillo. Mr. Bell. Hey, Morgan. How are you? Good, as always. That's the spirit. All right then, cowpoke. Y me voy al Mirando por debajo. Always good to see you. Yeah. Hi there, Arthur. There he is. Hello, Arthur. Donde habita los pichones. I'm here to play you, Mary Bell. Miss Mary Bell. He sure does. I'll let you find folks. Well, let's have a good night. We deserve one. Ay, hace se con el jacalito. Donde colgaba mi espada. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. Hey, folks. Hi, Mr. Morgan. Hi. Uh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged. Hey, yo. Hey, Arthur. Here you Hello. Are. Yes. Hi there. Thanks. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. I feel like I can breathe Instead, they again. hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> Was you <she> scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Down you. Live a little. I might have a couple. Welcome home, little Gentlemen. Jack. Save your legs. All right, You'll all need right. them. You're not dead yet. Oh, once 
I was a sweet down in Main Lane. My master used to be oh, my same. missus did the same. To learn one in a sailor boy coming at the door. And he's the one You know, boys, there ain't no being saved. Ain't no being lost. Them fights was over long ago. Or never happened was only invented to make you feel something out of nothing. Makes no difference. Ain't sure nothing makes a difference. Where I want to be. Home comes in. With Tide that girl on either knee, he was born with a little you ribbon tie, and had a neck coat and navy blue. Do what Let you him do. climb the rigging. Ain't, ain't no good, ain't no bad. Just <laughs> he rumbled me, he tumbled me, he screwed me to the wall. He never let me catch my breath. I got no sleep at all. He up me and he did me and he caught me out and he fucked me black and blue. It was sin. And all in the morning before. Good night! My lady. Arthur. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. And I'm going to be right at home next. That's it. See it for what the hell it is. You all right, Jose? I'm very all right. Good. Anyway, I won't disturb you. See you later. Lenny! Come oh, on, God. Kieran, Don't. join it's in. It's all coming back to me. Oh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> Good uh, times. Watch. Suit yourself, then. Another well, I should get back to it. Fellas? All right, Arthur. What do you got for me? You okay? Hi, Arthur. How's it all going? Not too bad. Good to hear. All right. On board the Heartland stage, we're pulling all about the sheets. His bed bugs knew about the sheets. He started as a thieving lion. Big Tick under his forty nine. In all opposition, they defied the people. Remember, it's your fault that boy went missing. It wasn't. I mean, I said that. I'm sorry. Count yourself real. More a man provoked. He's lost in blood, tobacco smoke. Ladies are compelled to shit on the press. Tobacco spit. Gentlemen don't seem to care, but talk of politics and swear. Sorry. Okay, Arthur. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. Goddamn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. See? See? Tell you. All right, well, I should be getting on. Whatever you say. Listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. How are you? Hello. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place 
And we are going to find our own paradise, our own heaven, Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, the real new world, not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has handed out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are going to be free. Free. Yes, we are, Dutch. That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch. Good times, Pearson. Uh-huh. I think we're gonna be okay, See Mr. Happy. Morgan. See if you feel the same in the morning. All day long on the prairies I run. Not even a dog to trot by my side. Fire I kindle and cow chips around. My coffee I boil without being ground. I wash mm -hmm. in a pool and I wipe mm -hmm. on the sack. I carry my wardrobe all on, on my back. back. For mm -hmm. one of an oven, I cook, cook bread, bread in a pot. And I sleep on the ground for one of, of a cot. <coughs> my ceiling's the sky, my floor, floor is, is the grass. grass. My music's the lowering of my shiny white ass. <laughs> my books are guns, my sermons the stones. Parsons a wolf on his pulpit of bones. I sometimes, sometimes I rob a bank on Main Street. You can't blame me for wanting to eat. But show me a man that sleeps mm -hmm. more profound than mm -hmm. big old Uncle lying out <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> and the newspapers call for our gang's demise. demise. Says, Says we're, we're no, no good, good thieves that you should, should despise. despise. A parson remarks from his pulpit of bones. Fortune favors those who look out for their own. <laughs> Is that right? Sure is. But the problem with you, Williamson, is that you're all talk. <laughs> all talk, huh? <laughs> Shit. Oh, Very happy to see young Jack again. Well, smile, man. Hey, get up. What, Arthur? You awake? I'm tired, Arthur. You awake yet? Oh, Arthur. Hey, hey, all right, Mr. Morgan.
going to get up. What's the problem, Martha? You like what? I'm going back to sleep. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That yeah, sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no... Hand holding off of. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had a look, I'm taking half the money. All right, let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. It seems like only yesterday. You and me was shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. 
Hmm? Time will come. Come on, girl. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the feller told you about this? It's a sound lead, I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. Gia! Okay, here we are. Let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. I figured we'd take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. There it is. And I don't see no escorts, neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? Are you? Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh. to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. He's still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp.
on, boy. You alive there? What the hell is going on? I don't believe it. You again? You're a dead man. I ain't taking no more chances with you. This is uh, very kind of you. Paul, Paul, are you all right? You let me go right now. Paul, answer me! Why the hell are you doing this? Untie me, you bastard! Leave us alone, please! Oh, shit! Get in here, Pa! That fella's back! No! Please, don't kill me! Take whatever you want, just, just leave! Tell me where you keep the money or I swear I'll kill you right there! Please, not this again! Whatever's left to be in Pa's room, just please take it and go! Please, please just go, miss.
Been a pleasure. Drop the Lucifer and that was that. Huh? What? Get down and cover now! Hello again, stranger. Close in! You go shake things for the devil and that boy!
Making sure. Okay, then. Throw it up. Since might amuse folk at a children's birthday party. For real. I'm saying Irish. No. Stop. Cornwall, dear boy. Where the real. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think. What's it like there? Evening. Hello. I've never been, but it sounds wonderful. Well, I'm from Ohio. And I have been there. And you could use more trouble. Evening. Evening, Arthur. Everything okay? Oh, yes. Just doing what I can to help out around here. Thanks, Tilly. Yes. See you later. I think it's time for bed. Oh, what do you want? Good evening. Evening, Arthur. Hey, Jack. We should do something fun this evening. All right, this ain't funny now. Get out. You're a good kid. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. Hey, you shouldn't be in here. Oh, my God, you... My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint-Denis. Oh, Arthur... 
I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Okay, Pearson? Oh, hello.
Excuse me, madam, behind you. Good morning to you, mister. I'm extremely busy under the surface. How are you holding up? Morning. Bonjour. Hello, welcome. This is a sham and a disgrace. Now, let me show you. That will really pull an outfit together. I'll only shut up once I can vote. Now that will bring your outfit together. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve... My, my, I really think it's perfect for you. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. I will say this for as long as it takes. On, people! Let me vote! That is a local favorite. Oh, my man, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, haven't I met you somewhere else? Make this country a real democracy. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I can say this all day. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I take pride in my selection here. Everything here is of exceptional quality. Me vote. That's beautiful. An American. Come on, people. Let me vote. It's a national disgrace. I have to say, that looks just fantastic on you. I have plenty more great We're items. Women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you.
Isn't it time to end this nonsense and let us vote? Once and for all. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I can say this all day. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I will say this for as long as it takes. Come on, people. Let me vote. People, let me vote. It's a national disgrace. Make this country a real democracy. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. People, let me vote. It's a national disgrace. Make this country a real democracy. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. Let women vote. It's time to let women vote. Isn't it time to end this nonsense and let us vote once and for all? Make this country a real democracy. Qualifying half the population. We are women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you.
people. Let me vote. It's a national disgrace. I know. People find it hard to leave sometimes. Now, let me see. Country of no democracy. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. We have styles for all persuasions, but I'm sure you'll look good in anything you choose. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I can say this all day. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I will say this for as long as it takes. Come on, people. Let me vote. Please, peruse at your leisure. I carry only the finest items. I'll only shut up once I can vote. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never... Thank you very much. This land of equality is a sham and a disgrace. Let me know what I can do to help you leave here feeling good and looking great. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. If you have any questions, you just let me know. Well, pardon my saying, but you look right handsome in that. I stand behind everything I sell in this place so you can purchase with confidence. Well, uh, you just take your time, then. I won't rush you. I'll only shut up once I can vote. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed.
I get all sorts walking into this establishment, but they all end up looking better when they walk out. People say us tailors all sound the same, but I find that rather offensive. You can really feel the quality of that one, right? Oh, my man, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, haven't I met you somewhere else? Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I will say this for as long as it takes. Come on, people. Let me vote. Make this country a world democracy. Stop this qualifying half the population. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. Not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. We must enjoy this temperate spell. So, what do you think? Wearing it out? This land of equality is a sham and a disgrace. Thank you. What color speaks to you? We have styles for all persuasions, but I'm sure you'll look good in anything you choose. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I take pride in my selection here. Everything here is of exceptional quality. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. I get all sorts walking into this establishment, but they all end up looking better when they walk out. Isn't it time to end this nonsense and let us vote once and for all? I 
feel almost human. Now, what is your preferred color for this? Isn't it time to end this nonsense and let us vote? Once and for all. Please, peruse at your leisure. I carry only the finest items. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. My man, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, haven't I met you somewhere else? This land of equality is a sham and a disgrace. We have styles for all persuasions, but I'm sure you'll look good in anything you choose. Let women vote! It's time to let women vote! Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Isn't it time to end this nonsense and let us vote? Once and for all! If you have any questions, you just let me know. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I can say this all day. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I will say this for as long as it takes. Come on, people. Let me vote. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. I'll only shut up once I can vote. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. You'll be getting a little more attention from the fairer sex wearing that. Time 
I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. Are you feeling good? Because you're looking great. You can really feel the quality of that one, right? That is one of my favorites. Let me vote. Let me vote. I'll only shut up once I can vote. I make sure everything I sell is the best of the best. Are you looking for something to go with what you just bought? All the finest of today's fashions are right here in the catalog. Now what's going on in here? I'll only shut up once I can vote. It'll keep you warm and looking your best. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. I'll only shut up once I can vote. Now that goes with just about any outfit. I get all sorts walking into this establishment, but they all end up looking bad. Well, all right then. You look as long as you like.
Well, you're welcome to try out your wardrobe in the changing room. Thank you for coming. Have a nice evening. Good evening. Hello, sirs. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. That's the piece of dirt I was telling you about. Hey, Mr. Nerd. Evening? Hmm. Okay, girl. Hi there, Mr. Okay there? Evening. Don't you have anything else to do? Look, not being invisible. You're better Come than us. We cannot replace perfectly no. good China. Work. Because right. of one Get them back! Now! Damn you, fate! Well, thank you for stepping in, sir. Lucky there was a real man around here. Thank you. Right place, right time is all. It's over now. What is this world we're living in? You do, sir. I just heard that. I was one of them deputies out of the saloon the other night for being too drunk. Not again. <laughs> Mister? What do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? 
and hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur, be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well, I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur... He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. I've never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. Right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. I and am unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way.
He went around the corner. Hold on. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. <sighs> we'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Giddy up! Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. You'll probably kill someone. Oh. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there.
to this. Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh... Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on <laughs> You and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lynn. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Thank you.
you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a now. Are you of in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! For joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you. You you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm you any beast, no any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire, or to spend time in the company of strange women. You. Are about to do both, <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Ooh! Stop it! Wonderful.
can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris!
Whoa, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to, but I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free, then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're going to run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty, but I will... Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Today. Oh, shut your face. I've been working for hours already. Hello, mister. Mister? Hi there, mister. Fuera de mi camino! Move! I see you there. Give me a minute, please. Glad to see you on the up and up. Thanks. You must like living here. Yeah? All the best now. Bye now. How do you do, sir? Warner. Hello. Hey! 
Good evening, mister. Good evening to you. Good night, sir. Madam, back here. Good evening. Good evening. Well? Bonsoir, monsieur. Hello there. Have a good night, sir. Go carrying on like the devil is dead. Why would that surprise me? I heard they found rats at Cafe Marchand again. This place is going to dogs. Ma'am. Hello, sir. Want a paper? Well, thanks. Bye then. Hello. The Times Tribune. Get them before they're gone. in the Gazette, folks. How's it going? Real good, real good. That's good to hear. You don't want to miss this. Good evening, sir. How do you do? Hello, sir.
Howdy. Look here. Hello, gentlemen. Laying him to rest day after tomorrow. Hello. Hey, mister. Hey there. I'll take any break I can get. Howdy. How goes, partner? Ain't no place for hillbillies Howdy, like fellas. you in town no more. Are they? Howdy. Think that's funny? Oh, we gotta go! Go cower under your bed! Hey there, partner. Hey, partner. How are you today? Can't put through it all right. Keep at it. This hey there. Turn around. Hey there. Mister. Hello. Hello. Is everything all right? Been too many Federals coming through. Might have got some horses. Hey, partner. Partner? We're going to bushwhack a proper convoy. These dirt poor pigs ain't got a squad. Welcome. You need help? help? Hope some Federal comes through. I ain't seen yep. blood in a while. We can pick that up. That old geezer ought to drop dead. Just slowing this militia down. I'm tired of talking. How about we get back to... Do you know horses just love a lump of sugar? Just my two cents. <laughs> I can always use more horses. I'll get that done for you. Yeah. Always safer to carry some around. Bye for now. You and that horse are always welcome.
didn't see the bind I'm in. I need help again. Come on. Okay, okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good, but I swear I didn't do nothing wrong. You can't stay out of trouble, can you? Just shoot the shackles. One bullet, that's all. All right. God, Second time's yes. the charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. I'd be done without you, that's for sure. I'll owe you till the end. Maybe someday I'll make it up to you. In some way. If I'm ever looking to collect, I'll just hang around the sheriff's office. I'm sure you'll show up sooner or later. So, where are you gonna hide? Or will you just head straight back to prison on your own? <laughs> I guess I deserve that one. Okay, boy. Mister? How do? You remind me of a feller I used to know. Uh-huh. Sorry. Can't put my finger on it. See you later. This could work. Let's see if anything's biting.
Ja. I'm keeping you, I'm afraid. You go there. Excuse me. Good morning. Oh, sorry, but I was worried. You looked in pain. Huh. I hope you're okay. No. See you later, Dan. Back again. Nice to see you. Sure, I'll take that off your hands. Very good. Use it well. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Thank you kindly, man. Hello. Morning to you. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Oh, that's real good. Come here. Come on, boy.
here. What I give for a horse as fine as that. So tough after all. Listening to your bullcrap. All right, okay. there. 
Yeah, Need to see. Move along now. I'm gonna oh, knock you upside your head. Back to work before I bust a pair of you. That's all them This ain't how it looks. Everyone guess what's coming, don't they? Dang it! some bait on there You're staying with me.
That's it, I think. Yes. Fishing, got some. You, sir, are a fish. Swim away, little fella. Wow. OK. 
Okay. Look at you. You're in luck, my friend. Oh, I got you. I got you. See if anything's biting. Mm. Oh, you're on, my friend. You can go.
Anything by now, I wonder. Okay, boy. Let's go. Easy, boy. You're okay. Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child! I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? 
to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Please. <laughs> you got mine, and I barely even flinched. What are you fools doing? Trapping. Good shot! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. is as good a time as any. Go for it! <laughs> oh, he got it! Of course. Good shot, sir. And now for me! There it goes! <gasps> now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard! Sir, shoot the wretch! I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. Excellent! Fuck! Bravo! <laughs> now do one while I hop! Do one while I turn somersaults! Uh, shoot me! Oh, give me the gun, let me shoot him! For all mankind! Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Mm. Why, too much. Nope, my sweet. Last night. Neither. Not that kind. Yeah. All right, Neither. I'll quiet when I win. Never up, cheat a gambling law. Goes bad. Good evening, Mister. Hi, uh, folks. Why, hello. Good evening, friend. Howdy. After a trim. Can you believe someone robbed Doc Calloway? I swear, nothing sacred in this town. Hey, friend. Nice evening. Gentlemen. Good evening, partner. Hello, welcome. Good evening, partner. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there.
Would you lack any assistance? Yeah, okay. Sure. Sit back and relax, hon. You'll leave this place feeling brand new, you know. Hope the water's hot enough. Been a while since I've been able to relax like this. Oh, really? Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. Yes, I know. Sorry for smell. It's been a while. Well. Oh, I'm thinking I don't want this to end. And you're thinking when will this be over? <laughs> you're so funny. So what do you do when you ain't bathing folk? Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to get out of this town is all. I've had quite the run of bad luck recently. Oh, gosh, you poor thing. Anyway, I'll stop boring you now. You've been nothing but kind. Doesn't get much better than this, right? Oh, you do feel tense. Does not feel good now. You seem more relaxed now. Aren't you so glad you dropped by? Does that feel all right? Does not feel good now. All right, that's perfect. Thanks. It was a pleasure. All the best to you. Need another nap? Keep this up. No, 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 no. Huh. no, no. With Stop your goddamn game. I got an idea. 
do you? Hey, no, no. you leave her be. I ain't afraid to get blood on my hands. Let's make this quick. I'm a busy man. <laughs>
morning, sir. partner. Hey, who's that? I'm coming in. I ain't even gonna ask. Hold up. You <laughs> work hard, boy. How are you? I'm all right. My table yeah. awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Hopefully, this will help a bit. Can't have that pot go completely empty. Now this, I can work with. Thank you, Arthur. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. All right. Now I'm burning up here. Remember, you won't find something like this anywhere else. I won't be able to make that for you without more materials. I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy.
Susan! I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. Hello, Lenny. Okay, I'm gonna stretch my legs. How's it going? Yeah, good. Good for you. I reckon I'm gonna think about it. Hey, folks. Hi there. Morning. My lady. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Pearson. Karen. Charles. Hello. Mess with me before my morning coffee and I'll scratch your eyes out. Good to know. Hey there. Arthur? Arthur, you want to talk? You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. I'm fine. What you been doing? <laughs> Acting like a fool. How so? Killing and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. Yeah. We'll see. Wonderful. 
Morning. Hey there. There she is. Oh. What? Damn it, Arthur. Let me sleep. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Vanderlind is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That, come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know. Uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> ah, the angry cowboys, you've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. <laughs> This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so... This is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, As a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can, and stay out of trouble, and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Bloody drink, will you? A small one. Not an artist. Oh, very well. But my daughter, you do better. Oh, you're not such a Philistine as all that, Marie. No, I didn't quite that much of a Philistine. Besides which, Monsieur... What a beautiful I used to be evening. a great beauty. Would you like some champagne? Of course. 
thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. <laughs> Clearly not from this swampy hell. Thank home. you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Evening, sir. I tried. Hello, sir. Well, I, I tried both. Yeah. You're walking away from history. How's it going? The show? I heard you win. This hasn't got the better of me yet. Uh, that's good. <laughs> All the best, <laughs> then. Well, uh, but <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign out. You look me in the eye. And tell me, in all honesty, where ever did you get that? Why, that ain't telling. Oh, you. <laughs> we are so stylish. I try. Mostly I fail. But I try. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Women are inferior to men, madam. It's not my fault. Are you enjoying the party? How do you know the man? I don't. Uh, I'm actually hoping to meet him. He's definitely around. I just saw him. A man in demand. I'm sure. But you're neither my better nor my inferior, sir. Okay, madam. I will not prove it by publicly thrashing you. Uh, well, hey, ma'am. You're stronger than me, there. sure. But as civilized beings? Haven't we moved past that? <laughs> Apparently not. Good evening to you, sir. I will go find some other people to threaten to hit me, if that's okay with you. I suggested that all of us as Americans. Uh -oh. Would you like tickets? What? This, can I help you, sir? <laughs> well, I'm not quite sure yet. Albert Danielson, the Brent Tilden. This is Mr. Hector Phillips. How are you? Well, it's uh, nice to meet the both of you. New suit? Yeah. Uh, I mean, no. Uh, no, it's a new shirt. Are you new in town? You friends? Good evening, sir. folks. Sort of. Originally. I'm from Quebec. But I left many moons ago. And you? Oh. <laughs> no. I came down from New York for a job. Good evening. I'm a banker. Bonjour. A banker? An investment banker. <coughs> when I need it, and when I've got too much, try to lend me more. <laughs> you okay? Oh, my lord. The pesky nut. What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, Algernon Wasp. Hello. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No, well, what is it that, uh, that you do? I'm, uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh, uh, me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. An esthete in this land of commonplace heathens. My card, sir. Some nervous small town bank could finish us in a bad small year. Small town. Pay me a visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Good evening. We work with all the remaining cotton growers in the U.S. who still use a lot of cash, and we help finance half the reconstruction projects after the war. We love big clients. Can I interest you in a glass of champagne? A financial loan here in town has more cash reserves on site than any bank in the entire country. This is quite a town that you have here, Mr. Jameson. Oh, I don't live here. I was here for the poker. Oh, you play? Oh, it's, a, it's my weakness, my worst vice. Perhaps you should have it whipped out of you like you advocate whipping the sin out of How others. How are you all doing? <laughs> How do you do? Not whipping, sir, working, and besides, my The vice. truth is, since the war, the country's doomed itself. I disagree. 
The war? The war was 30 years ago. I was just a boy. And since then, we have fought more wars. And we will fight more again. Now, the country tore itself apart. Me. And what do you think, sir? I think war is a fine way of thinning the herd. <laughs> exactly. This man is a realist. I cannot believe I am hearing this. Excuse me. From all over. My pockets are not deep enough. Sometimes, sir, the innocent are the damned. Enjoy your evening. I must go see my wife. Good evening. Since the war, the government has done evening, a wonderful all. job of preserving... Oh, how do you do? Mr. Jameson. Well, I agree, Major. Well, at my present, we are doing the best to remedy that failure. You know, my friend works in the Caribbean. He faces real rebellion. If we don't act decisively, we will endure the same here in all of us. All of these garden parties and civilities, they will be too. Gentlemen. Good day. How are you all doing? Mister? I mean, did you hear what that man said? Inferior. Do you think women should have the vote? Oh, I don't care. I've never voted anyway. Well, that's no better. Anyway, if you'll excuse me, I'm still furious with that oath. Evening, folks. Monsieur? How are you all doing? Je vous salue. Good evening, ladies. Bonjour, monsieur. How you doing? I'm well, thank you. Evening, gentlemen. Hello. Good evening. Hello, sir. Evening, gentlemen. Hello. Gentlemen. Good day. Evening, ladies. Sir. How do you do, ma'am? Thank you again for the champagne. You're welcome. So, how do you know the mayor? Oh, I don't really. It's just another party, and I get invited to parties. Ah, I see. Oh, very boring, really. But hence the need for copious amounts of champagne. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? Take it easy. I'm just needling you. Well, thank the Lord for that. It ain't complex, I'm you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny your idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man... This man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Hey, what say you and me cool off? How do you do? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, monsieur, please. 
<laughs> Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <coughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Get out of my sight! Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Anything? I think so. Nothing. 
This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money, Moose, through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. The big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, anybody see you take this? I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. Uh, I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <laughs> 